Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how you can access SAP using Excel and VBA to open a transaction. For this we open an Excel and we activate the developer tab with customized ribbon and we check here the checkbox developer and then we click on Visual Basic and here we click on Tools, Preferences, then we click on the button Browse, then we change the type on bottom right. We type here uh, OCX for ActiveX controls and we search for the file SAP FEWSE and then because this is the SAP GUI scripting API. And this API we will use today. So we go back to macros. We create a macro name here. I pick SAP, then I click on create. And now we can uh, code some VBA. First, we define some uh, objects. O SAP GUI, O app, O connection, O session. And we use here the SAP. Uh, a library then after that we set the objects set o sap gui is get object sap gui then we check if the object exists then we set the other objects like O app is OSAP GUI dot get scripting engine. Then we check again if the object exists. We set the connection. O connection is O app dot open connection. And here we pass the name of our SAP system ABAP752. Then we check if the O connection object exists. And then we open or we set the session with set O session is O connection dot children zero. And now we have the SAP window where we can pass the username and the password. And we can uh, pass this information with a string. So I write here the ID of the text name here I pass the name my username developer in my example and we can pass the password as well so in my case in plain text if you don't want to pass the info in plain text you can use a variable here and you have to type in the information when you start the script and after that we press the key and then we call the transaction, for example, SE16. Then we close the ifs. And we save the script in, uh, I name it test login, and I pick here the Excel macro enabled workbook. Then I click on save. And then I minimize the window a little bit so that we can check what the SAP window does. So and now let's click on run. So we see the message a script is attempting the SAP GUI and the connection is opened. So here is the session with the user and the password field. The developer is passed and now the password. Okay, and there's an error. So let's go back and check the debug message. Doesn't support this property or method. Okay, we click on the debug button. Here is the error. Okay, I have forgotten a key, uh, a letter. It's we, it's send we key. So save and uh, run the script again. And okay, we pass the username and we pass the password. Okay, and now we see the transaction SE16. So the script works here. 
And if the script don't work in your example, you have to check if the subgo user scripting parameter is true. For this, we use the transaction rz11. And here the current value must be true. So if this is not true in your system, you have to set this to true. Okay. So we go back and because in the script we have created some objects and we can free uh, these objects at the end. So after the last and if we can, oh no, first let's uh, call the script with a, with a button. So I can create a button here, then I picked my macro SAP. Then I write here on the button um, um, open SE16. And so if I press the button, the script SAP in the background is called. So we see here. Okay, now there's an error because we are already uh, logged in with a session. And so we have to pick what we have to do with the new session. Okay, so let's close the sessions. And uh, click on the button again. Okay, now it works. We see the script opens the transaction SE16. So now let's go back to the Visual Basic and what I said before, we uh, created some objects here and after the script we have to free them. So we write here set O oh, session is nothing, O oh, connection and O oh, app and O oh, SAP GUI. Okay, so we click on save and we press the button again and we see the script works. Transaction is opened. Yes, so after that you can uh, set some other functions or you can do some other actions in the script. For example, browse some data from a table or export some data uh, to the local computer. Uh, yes. So if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.